Do you think she is speaking the truth? Those who saw her praying that she wants to be a singer. Ma chante a dit que Dieu repent en prière. Est-ce que vous voyez que c'est vrai? Yeah, mommy can say. She's prayed for a really long time in her life that God should help her to sing. Elle a prié pendant longtemps que Dieu l'aide dans son ministère de chant. Now she says God answer prayer. Et maintenant elle dit que Dieu répond. Maybe I can testify to that if you cannot. Et nous pouvons témoigner à cela. And beautifully the Lord has been talking to us about the same thing throughout the service. Et merveilleusement le Seigneur a eu à nous parler la même chose pendant ce temps. His word is coming to us in the same line this evening. Et sa parole revient encore à nous dans la même lancée ce soir. I want us to turn our Bibles into the book of Luke. Nous allons ouvrir nos Bibles dans le livre de Chapter Luke. 18. Chapitre 18. Father Lord, we thank you for a new day in your house. Thank you for we know that we are never alone. Thank you for we know, O oh God, that your plans for us are good. We come now to you to help us to keep trust in you for the best for our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. I want us to talk a little bit about prayer this evening. J'aimerais que nous parlions sur la prière ce soir. Hallelujah. When I read the scripture in John chapter 15, verse 5, it says, We can do nothing without God. Et la Bible dit que nous ne pouvons rien faire sans Dieu. We can do nothing. Nous ne pouvons rien faire. And I started to ask myself many questions. Et je me suis posé beaucoup de questions. What about all the things that people do who don't know God? Qu'en est-il de tout ce que les gens qui ne connaissent pas Dieu font? Lord answered me that whether they know God or not, everything they do is God who empowers them. Et j'ai compris que même s'ils connaissent Dieu ou pas, tout ce qu'ils font, c'est Dieu qui leur donne la force, la force de le faire. Whether you know God or not, si tu connais Dieu ou pas, everything we are capable of doing, tout ce dont nous sommes capables de faire, is God who empowers us. C'est Dieu qui nous donne la force de le faire. Now I ask God, then, so what do you mean by you can do nothing without me? Et maintenant, je demande à Dieu, que veux-tu dire par nous, nous ne pouvons rien faire sans toi? The Lord told me that it's a different thing to do what you want to do. Et Dieu m'a dit que c'est une chose différente de faire ce que tu veux faire. And what God wants you to do. C'est une chose différente de faire ce que tu veux faire, de so faire ce que Dieu veut que tu fasses. So any time we are doing what we want to do. Donc chaque fois que nous faisons ce que nous voulons faire. Is we doing nothing without God. C'est nous qui sommes en train de faire rien sans toi. And any time we are doing God. What God wants us to do. Et chaque fois que nous faisons ce que Dieu aimerait que nous faisions. That's us actually doing something because of God. Là, nous sommes actuellement en train de faire quelque chose à cause de Dieu. So it's not every time that uh, success is because uh, God is with you. On ne sait pas chaque fois que tu as le succès que ça veut dire que Dieu est avec toi. I want us to listen to that carefully. J'aimerais que nous saisissions ce. It's not everything we do that is successful. Pas tout ce que nous faisons qui réussit. That means God is in approval of it. Qui veut par là dire que Dieu est d'accord avec cela. And again. Et encore. When you read scriptures like uh, you can gain the whole world and lose your soul, you have an answer to that question. Quand tu lis les écritures comme tu peux gagner tout le monde et tu perdre ton âme, tu peux comprendre cela. That uh, I hope that. Uh, 
the things I live my life doing que les choses que je passe ma vie à le faire, à les faire don't end up to be nothing. Ne finissent pas être rien. I want you to listen to that again carefully. That the things I actually successfully do in my life les choses que je réussis à faire dans ma vie doesn't amount at the end of the day to nothing. Ne pas pas en vain. That's why we're talking about prayers that will help us to distinguish doing the things that ends up to something in contrast to doing the things that ends up to nothing. Hallelujah. Talking to an old mama of about 60 years uh, yesterday. She said, I want to quit my job. I'm tired. I said, so why can't you quit? He said, my husband said, how are you going to pay off your loan? I said, why are you paying the loan? He said, it's just for my house. I said, the house you're sleeping inside? She said, yes. He said, do you find peace? He said, no. I said, but how did you get to hold the bank this much? Et je lui ai demandé comment est-ce que tu as fait pour devoir autant d'argent à la banque. Et je lui ai demandé combien de temps est-ce que tu vas faire pour payer toutes ces dettes et dans les 10 prochaines années si je continue à travailler. Et je lui ai dit, ok, je sais que tu peux faire beaucoup de choses dans le monde. Je lui ai dit, 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 a consultant, she said, yes, she said, there's no energy to do that, I'm afraid. I said, and you know, if you do what you're supposed to do, you will not take 10 years to pay off this job. I said, you know, if you lose your job, they have to sell off the house again. I said, but how did you stay in the house built on loan? He said, we bought this property in a beautiful neighborhood and the bank proposed us to take loans and build. It appears the bank gave them a loan and gave the contract to the bank's friend. So the house that they that they built for 130 million. Actually, wondering if it's an invisible part of the house that you cannot see. So, a decision she took many years when she was young and was vibrant and was hoping to have a home has spent over 40 years of her life in slavery. Even me, when I see the house I'm passing and my eyes, I just know that the person living inside is not peaceful. Because I know the person. If I don't know the person, I'll just be admiring the house. It's just because I know the person that I don't admire the house. Like. So, what if she had asked God many years ago, Father, what should I do? She has successfully built a house that she doesn't own. And she's not only not the owner, but she's scared to be taken away from her. That's the reason I still tell you that it's not everything you do that means you are doing something. You can be doing something, but you are doing nothing. Tu peux être en train de faire quelque chose, mais à finir, à finir, tu ne fais rien. C'est à la fin de la journée que tu vas te rendre compte que tu ne faisais rien. Donc, c'est pas venir dire que est-ce que les non-chrétiens ne réussissent pas, non. Le succès dans les yeux de Dieu est différent. Le succès dans les yeux de Dieu est différent. Le succès dans les yeux de Dieu est différent. Et c'est pourquoi nous devons parler de la prière cet après-midi. Because when we understand praying for God's purpose, it will change our prayer life. It will give us passion to pray. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Luke 18 that there's a story where this woman kept asking the judge for justice over and over. 
dans Luc 18, il y a une femme qui demande justice. She was born to the judge and the judge gave her justice. Juste ce qu'elle a nué le juge et le juge l'a rendu justice. It says. Et le verset 8 dit God who is good will not drag his feet to answer your prayers. And he poses a question that troubled my mind. Et il a posé une question qui m'a But how much of that kind of persistent faith will the son of man find on the earth when he returns? You, this question is troubling me because right now he has not returned and there's actually very little persistent faith around. Hallelujah. There's very little persistent faith. Persistent faith. And Jesus has not returned yet. And he asked this question many years ago. In those days, they said the people prayed until they died praying. Et en ce jour, on a dit que le, le peuple priait jusqu'à ce qu'ils They died praying, believing that what they prayed en croyant que ce qu'ils ont prié will be answered someday. Dieu va les they died jour. praying. Ils ont même, ils ont mort dans la prière. The man of God was praying for three people to give their life to Christ. Un homme de Dieu priait pour trois personnes pour donner leur vie à Christ. He prayed until after four or five years, the first one came to Christ. Il a prié jusqu'à après quatre ou cinq ans. Prayed again after another four or five the next day. He prayed on the last one gave his life to Christ when he was dead. And the man of God was dead. The difference with praying when you trust God is that you're not walking according to your time. You're walking according to God's purpose. The reason that is difficult for us to have persistence in faith is because we pray according to our time. We pray and we have a date limit for answered prayers. But when you have the knowledge that when I pray for God's purpose, it's according to God's timing. C'est selon le timing de Dieu. It doesn't disturb your persistence in trusting God. Cela ne dérange pas ma persistance à mettre ma confiance en Dieu. It doesn't disturb your persistence in trusting God. Ça ne dérange pas ta persistance. Because you know that God will answer the prayer. Parce que tu as confiance que Dieu répondra. Either in your time, soit dans ton temps, or after your time, ou hors de ton timing. But the good news is that He will answer the prayer. And the answer to the prayer is not about you or about me. Because I don't know what you are going How many persons around your life do you honestly wish that they could change? Answer the questions to yourself. How many persons around your life are you worried about their life? Do you feel that they are going astray? I have a friend who is a singer that I always talk to her. Why do you drop singing? Since we live in a difficult world, she had to hustle. So I don't know how problems we have, but I spend time and I just pray sometimes. And the other day, the pastor was sleeping and then I had a dream. I was standing in a crowd of people and I forgot the song I wanted. I told her, you didn't even practice the song. You have forgotten all your song sings. Is it now you know that you have forgotten? That's God who carries your prayer and sends them in a dream to someone. You and I, no matter how we talk, we don't have the power to change. The only thing you can talk is to talk and break relationships. You cannot do anything. Because even the people cannot do anything. The people we are praying for, they themselves cannot do anything. I'm talking specifically about praying for people because all what we do most times is pray 
for our financial success. Je prie euh, concernant prier pour les gens parce que la plupart du temps nous prions seulement pour notre We have twisted all scriptures to tell you to pray for our financial success, which is not really good. A lot of godly things we can pray for that we never pray. So how many persons in your life, maybe your father, your mother, your brother, that you actually wish that they could surrender their life completely to Christ? That you pray that you stop praying. The devil hasn't stopped working. How did you stop praying? The devil is still pushing and you have stopped pushing. And now you're using your mouth to fight the devil. How can you use your mouth to fight the devil? Persistent in prayers, particularly something that gives glory to God pays off. He says, when you seek God and seek Him with all your heart, then you find Him. Total concentration. How many of us struggle to pray? I had a Christian here who was always struggling to pray. I said, Pastor, I can stay for two hours now praying. I said, are you serious? Yeah. Some of you did not know how to pray. I said, I can stay for two hours. As far as we know, many of us Christians actually see prayer as time wasted. We are always in a hurry to do everything, even to have accidents. And hurry and if they ask, I'm going to stay in traffic. The devil has managed to stop us from having this communication with God. And the communication is so useful, that is how the Bible puts it. The Bible says in John 15, verse 5. Uh, I'm the vine, you're the branches. When you join me and I'm with you, the relationship is intimate and organic. And the harvest is sure to be abundant. The relationship we have with God pays off when we invest in it intentionally. This is Jesus in one village. He has seen this preaching. Everybody likes him. Everybody is coming to him. The Bible says the next morning, he got up and chose to go and pray. Jesus, the whole village is here to see you. We are going to go and pray for you. And while I was praying, the Lord told him, go to the next village. What dictates our direction? Because sometimes we become so successful that the God who used to tell you where to go, you don't listen to him. You're not listening to what your money tells you to do. Before, you have to pray to God to go to somewhere. Particularly when you're waiting for a miraculous transport. That father, if they send me that money, it means you want me to go. Now that you have the money, you have to pray to God. God is not hearing your voice again. The more you become successful, the more you have to keep asking God the next move. Unless you are living your own life. But if you are living the life to glorify God, there is no point in time in your life that you stop asking. Do you know that even prayer releases us from stress? One of our sisters in the US had a child being operated upon and they said the blood pressure went to below 42 M. How do you call it, doctor? Before she went into the operation, we were talking, I said, what I know is God uses the doctors on people, so don't worry about the doctors. Trust God because it's God working in doctors. 
Mets ta confiance en Dieu parce que c'est Dieu qui agit au travers so des médecins. Said, came out of the theater, there was a point that the child was not responding. Now even the doctors were confused. Et elle dit quand ils se sont dit bloqué un point, l'enfant ne répondait plus et même les médecins étaient confus. And she held the hand of the child and just started counting off. Et elle a tenu la main de l'enfant. And then the child came back to life. Et commence à rendre grâce à Dieu et l'enfant revenait à la vie. But what if she was trusting the doctors and then now the doctors are confused? Mais quand elle s'est mise à confiance aux médecins et les médecins étaient dans la confusion. What's that? Is that when the doctors are confused they cannot tell you? Quand les médecins sont confus ils ne peuvent pas vous dire. It's ethics, professional ethics. C'est juste les éthiques, éthiques professionnelles. You understand? But I said, even at the level of the doctors, you trust that is God working in them. Et même au niveau de médecin, tu as confiance que c'est Dieu qui agit au travail. Bible says, what you know gives you passion. Remember that last time. Je me dis que ce que tu connais te donne la passion. Gives you passion. I was talking to someone the other day that I got terribly stressed up this week when I was looking for a fire and could not see. Imagine after finishing a cabaret on Saturday, I lost the audio. I converting all the videos, I cannot see the audio. It was just like there was a war in my head. Okay, this audio is self-death of June. Et c'est enregistré le 3 juin. I've checked everything that I have in my house. All the hard drive. Je fouille toutes les disques durs que j'ai à la maison. Even check if I deleted that file. The file is not showing that it was deleted. J'ai même regardé si j'ai effacé cela, mais ce n'était pas effacé. I was telling you, so I prayed about it and I chose to forget. Et je dis j'ai prié et j'ai décidé d'oublier. And when I got up this morning, I said, let me go and walk a file that was written feet of me. Et quand je me suis réveillé ce matin, j'ai dit bon, je vais travailler sur le dossier qui t'en reste le 7 mai. Et quand j'ai ouvert ce mail, et quand j'ai écouté l'audio, c'était l'audio du troisième. Et ce fit of me file has been in front of my laptop since day one. Et ce, ce document de 5 mai était devant How moi depuis. How did I carry Ted June? Comment est-ce que j'ai pris l'enregistrement du trois jours? The month, the date, nothing matches. Le mois, la, le, le jour, rien ne correspond. As a matter of fact, I was looking for space. I was supposed to have deleted fifth June because that's past. Je cherchais même de l'espace. Je devais même effacer ce fichier parce que j'avais plus d'espace. Je sais pas pourquoi je n'ai pas effacé. But I could never have seen. Mais je ne pouvais pas le trouver. Though it was in front of me. Bien que c'était bien devant moi. Because it doesn't look like what I'm looking for. Parce que ça ne ressemble pas à ce que je recherche. So even the stress that you and I go through, we think that is not important to pray about it. It's important to Donc, pray about everything. Même le stress que nous traversons, nous croyons que c'est pas important de prier. C'est très important de prier. Because the Bible chose. says, bring your burden unto Him. La Bible dit, venez avec moi avec tous vos fardeaux. And He will take care of them for you. Et il va prendre soin. Who doesn't have a burden? Qui n'a pas de fardeau ici? But who has taken it to Jesus? Mais qui a pris ces fardeaux? You say it's not important. So why is it killing you? Tu dis c'est pas important. Alors pourquoi est-ce que cela te? You say it's just a light thing. So why is a light thing making you heavy? Tu dis que c'est juste une petite chose. Mais pourquoi est-ce que cela t'apaise vraiment? Nothing is light. Rien n'est léger. Nothing is light. Rien n'est léger. Prayer is a source of power. La prière c'est une source. It's a source of direction. C'est une source de direction. It's a source of wisdom. C'est une source de connaissance. Without God, you and I can do nothing. Sans Dieu, vous et moi ne pouvons rien faire. Meaning, you can be doing everything, but you amount to nothing. Ça veut dire que tu peux tout faire, mais ça ne va aboutir à rien. But in the place of prayer, you find this comfort. Mais dans le lieu de prière, tu retrouves ce you find this assurance. Tu retrouves cette assurance. And the prayer can mean many things. Et la prière peut dire beaucoup de choses. It can mean you controlling your behavior because you trust God. Ça peut te faire contrôler ton comportement parce que tu as mis ta confiance en Dieu. That you control your daily behavior because you trust in God, you're depending on God for something. So it makes you behave differently. Tu contrôles ton comportement parce que ça te fait mettre ta confiance en Dieu. Studying a book on respect. Nous étudions un livre sur le respect. Mr. said, Pastor, as the market and a woman insulted me, that did I ever go to school? Et Mr. a dit, Pastor, je dois marcher. Une femme m'a insulté si j'ai été à l'école. How can someone who does not know you ask you if you've ever been to school? 
Comment est-ce que quelqu'un qui ne te connaît pas te demande, te dit que tu n'es jamais allé? Yet, Pastor, I thought of doing the things I would do to her, but I remember that they say respect. Et elle dit que j'ai réfléchi à ce que je pouvais lui faire. Je me suis rappelé qu'on a parlé du respect. C'est là où je me disais. C'est un autre homme qui m'a dit à une femme qui ne parle pas aux gens. Et c'est un autre homme qui m'a dit à une femme qui ne parle pas aux gens. Et le vrai homme qui m'a dit à une femme. Et la même femme se tourne vers elle et a dit pardon, excusez-moi. I'm sorry. Je m'excuse. You know when you follow the things of God, it's different. Quand vous suivez les choses de Dieu, c'est différent. Easy. Ça rend la vie vraiment facile. That even when people don't demand respect from you, you give it because you're walking on another platform. Quand les gens ne vous demandent pas le respect, ne le donnent pas parce que vous êtes une autre plateforme. So prayer must not only be the time you sit and talk to God; it also operates in how you behave. La prière n'est pas juste quand vous êtes sur la terre, mais aussi comment vous vous comportez. Has a prayerful attitude, prayerful response. Quelqu'un qui met sa confiance en Dieu a toujours des réponses de façon de manière de prier. That because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because I'm trusting God, I will act like this. Because it keeps chopping off your life without you knowing. Parce que cela continue à ronger votre vie sans que vous. And someday it might become so big that you cannot do anything. Et un jour ça pourrait devenir très grand que vous ne pouvez rien faire. I encourage you to do what. Pray about everything. Je vous encourage à prier. Understand that God knows everything. Et comprenez que Dieu connaît tout. From the beginning to the end. Du commencement jusqu'à la fin. So I can pray to Him. Donc je peux prier à lui. When I don't have wisdom. Quand je n'ai pas de sagesse. Understand that he controls stress. He gives you peace. You can pray to him when you're stressed. Je comprends qu'il qu'il connaît quand je suis stressé. Tu peux prier quand tu es stressé. Understand that he has good plans for your life. Et comprends qu'il a des bons projets pour ta vie. So when you are confused, still pray to him. Donc même quand tu es dans la confusion, continue à prier. Still pray to him. Continue à prier. At all times pray. Tout en prie. Forget that you have money to do what you want to do. Just pray. Oublie que tu as de l'argent pour faire ce que tu veux. Let your money not pull you into problems. Que ton argent ne te met pas dans les problèmes. The more you grow in life, the more you trust God. Plus tu grandis dans la vie, plus tu te mets ta confiance en Dieu. And then I want us to pray. Et j'aimerais que nous prions. Let's stand up to our feet. All the things we have discussed are impossible if God doesn't help us. Toutes les choses dont nous avons parlé, c'est possible si Dieu nous aide. Mighty God, we pray. Help every one of us to intentionally build a relationship with you in prayers. Help every one of us, O God, to be intentional about having concrete. Moments with you. Help every one of us to be intentional, O oh God, about seeking Your face for everything that we are about to do. Help every one of us, O oh God, to be intentional about trusting Your plans for our life, O oh God. Father, help every one of us to be persistent in our faith. Help us, O oh God, to keep looking up to you in every little thing we do in our lives. 
Father, give us the spirit of prayer. The Father, we shall pray for the ungodly in our families. We shall pray for the ungodly in our local friendships, O oh God. We shall pray for the ungodly in our work societies, O oh God. We shall pray for our bosses who hate us, O oh God. We shall pray, O oh God, for that stepmother, that stepfather who didn't treat us well. Father, we shall pray for that friend, O oh God, who put us in a big mess. Father, that we shall pray for the worst of our enemies. Father, that we shall pray for everything. For in prayer, O oh God, we receive life from you. Mighty God, I pray for us. Everyone in this house and everyone watching us, O oh God that help us to pray more than we talk. Help us to pray more than we react. Help us to pray even for that least family this organization let us pray. For the devil is at work to set us aside. But we know, oh God, that when we pray to you, you make even our enemies to be at peace with us. Father, we pray for persistence in our faith. We pray for persistence in our faith. Father, in that career that you have given us, we pray that we shall keep seeking you until we succeed. Father, in that gift that you have given us, we pray that we shall keep seeking you until we succeed. Father, in that calling that you have called us, O oh God, we pray that we shall keep seeking you. That no matter the amount of discouragement that comes our way, may we stay seeking you. Father, may we stay seeking you. May we seek your face in everything we do. Help us to be intentional about our spiritual connection with you. In the mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want to take another offering. 